We'll do it live! F*** it! The thing about the Duggars I found, uh, unfortunately, because I'm also a writer and I'm a researcher. Okay. That's how I work. I had to. I have researched heavily uh, you know, the Bible over, backward, forward, forward, backward, mm -hmm. other religions. Um, it was all by the Holy Spirit, you know, preparing me as he prepares everyone, um, the, uh, listening to the Holy Spirit. Um but the 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 you know on a practical note the um the the editing was really um I hate to use the word I, I mean maybe it was meant to be sensationalized as Mr. and Mrs. Duggar said in their comment um but if you notice um there's quite a bit of um you know uh, a, a sentence out of context here then another person saying another sentence and another person saying another sentence um and and then that's what's like, who are we crucifying here you know they started off with josh mm -hmm. and um and then you know uh, showed the smiling face of jim bob you yeah. know and he's responsible for all of the uh choices that josh has made as an adult um, you know, they have 19 children, 21 people in their family, um, you know, to have. Uh, and another thing is that there's a lot of confusion about pedophilia and child molesting. Um, pedophilia is you can be a pedophile without ever molesting a child um, and vice versa. Pedophilia is an actual mental illness of an attraction to children. Mm -hmm. um, and so those people um, that have there are many pedophiles who who who, who get help before they molest somebody mm -hmm. and i commend those people yeah. um uh so uh is josh a pedophile i don't know is he uh is he a child molester or both um at one point apparently when he was a child mm -hmm. joshua confessed so uh, to something he did that was very unclear too um but still then in the megan kelly interview um, one of the girls said something like, well, it was mild. There's no such thing as mild molestation. There, it's, it doesn't exist. I mean, if you've just been touched inappropriately, you have been damaged. Right. Uh, and believe me, I know I am a survivor of of uh, sexual abuse myself mm -hmm. uh, On uh, with two of the, my family relatives. And it's because of the Me Too movement. And other people who have said, hey, wait a minute, I've been molested, that that um, that's the good part of, you know, coming out of the closet, the social media, um, people who felt like, wow, I must be to blame because that's a heavy duty. Even if somebody touches you one time inappropriately as a child, it destroys your life. I mean, it Absolutely. literally destroys your life, e even if it's what anybody would call mild. There's no such thing. Mm -hmm. Um you need an act of God to be healed and um, and professional help. And uh, and Jesus is strictly uh, you know, children are a treasure. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe what they're saying about um, uh, I, I would love to have a lot of children. <laughs> like I do think children are a blessing on um, that part of the, the uh, show. I do believe, but is it for everybody? No, if you don't want children, you shouldn't have them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I do. Jesus said, if you hurt the faith of a child and molestation hurts, destroys a person. Uh, it, he said, it's better for you to tie a rope around your neck and sink to the bottom of the sea than to hurt the faith. You know, children are sacred. Yeah, they They're are. so, so sacred. And Absolutely. one of the ladies on the show, because Anna Duggar, I believe her name was Anna, Josh Duggar's wife. Wife, yeah. Yeah, this lady, Tia, says, oh, well, she has a bevy of children with him. Uh, you know, what a bevy? You know, th that's like a collection of objects or persons. <laughs> oh, you just have a, you know, he has a sacred gift of children. Mm -hmm. You know, that's sacred. And um, I don't know. Um but anyway, uh, I think they should have done one. I think they intentionally did, as the Jim Bob and and, um, and his wife said, that they did uh, purposely edit it in such a way where they were holding the, the parents personally responsible for his adult 
um, his adult crime that he's in jail for. Yeah, so, I, I see that. But I, I, I think what I, you know, I've actually followed this story before this documentary. So I was, I knew this documentary was coming out and I have a, no, a lot of knowledge about this subject. I, I, I followed, I didn't watch the show, but it was, it's intriguing. And somehow started getting into it and hearing about this Josh guy. Uh, I think part of it is not necessarily their fault, I, I, but I do see that coming out of that documentary. But I think part of it is the cover up. You know, it, it's almost like they put him above other family members, mainly female family members, uh, which is entrenched into their beliefs almost which i'll get into the umbrella of authority which i want to talk about it, it was more to me i i think it was more important for them to make money off of this show than anything else and i think they could sit there and they could preach all they want but i think they're liars there is no way he should have put his daughters in that that Megan Kelly. Oh, I see what you mean. He said his daughter, all his daughters have been set up for failure. But at, at the same time, you know, you have to think here are these people with 19 kids they're, they're They did take Josh. I mean, Josh, that he's a total different subject. But the girls, I understand what you're saying. Um, Josh um, and what the girls went through is real. But you yeah. know, they did take him to the police. Um, and it, I mean, I think they went as far as they could at the time. You know, they've got all the, you know, 19 kids and they probably, you know, did the best they could with him. You know, what, what do you do with him? Um, but, but then the, then the cover part of I mean, that part of it, I, I don't know. I guess she did say she was trying to save face with the family. They, they didn't choose this life, though. It's it's irresponsible, in my opinion, to have 19 kids. It's <laughs> irresponsible. And it's almost like a golden goose. Keep pumping them out. We're 19 now. Now we're going to get more money for that TV show. It's it's irresponsible. It's not safe. It's ridiculous. She has to, to, to sleep in a lawn, a, 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 a chair because her back's so messed up from 19 kids. Uh, it's you, you cannot give them the attention. Now, I know you have five kids. I came from a family of six. I have four kids. That's that's a lot. And but we were able to give them the attention they need. 19 is ridiculous. When you have to raise your daughters to be the mom because you can't be a mom to 19 kids. No, no, this is ridiculous. I know, I, I know other people. But, you know, the thing is, as you know, Nas is um, I do not tell uh, I do not profess to know the secret thoughts of anybody. Um, <laughs> I, I, I And, you know, I mean, I, I do not like when um it, on a personal level i understand it's a show it's got to have the show it's got to be a money maker it's a business sure. i understand all that but um uh like th some of the people in the show were, were professing to know like one lady said well jim bob is purposely being quiet he doesn't yell a lot because he possesses because of the power he possesses so even his tone the voice was a was she was saying mm. is because of the power i mean here here's a man who set up a city of 19 kids basically that he's gonna be the ruler of i mean the proof is in the pudding the, the proof is in the pudding he made all the money these kids and a dugger they don't have anything it's well, they all were probably, based around him. It, it, they, he is the leader, the ruler, the god of that family. Christ, the father, the, Christ, the husband, the mother, and the kids. That's it. I, I guess the way to end it would be, as far as this discussion, um, it, it it really falls on the man in a way to respect his wife, you know? And I, and I think sometimes men set up things to, to their advantage. And, and I don't like that aspect when it comes to um, that Bill Gothard, 
you know, sort of structure. It seemed like they really honed in on that based on what I've seen. Now, obviously, that's just my interpretation. A lot of other people have seen that. Um, and then you have someone like Anna, who is now um, has five kids, who has no real education, no way to support herself. And she's completely... Um, at the the mercy of of Jim Bob Duggar, that's her situation right now. I mean, that is it. That's that's that's, and it's a shame. It's a tragic story. It's a shame it went south. It's really all because of one person, one really selfish person. And that's Josh Duggar, and he's the real villain in all this. Not necessarily Jim Bob, not Michelle. Him. He is the one who who selfishly. I don't believe he's a pedophile. I, he may be. I think what he is is an evil, evil um, person. How he became that way, I don't. We'll never know. But well, we know he, how it started. We know how it starts, and it always starts with a thought. And <laughs> and and apparently, when he was younger, apparently we don't know that it's true, but apparently. You know, the, he went to his parents and confessed when he was a child of his um, molesting the, his sisters. Mm -hmm. um, but where was that humility and confession when these thoughts were brewing? Uh, the, the key is if anyone in the within earshot of this broadcast, that's why um, confession really is so important. Um, mm -hmm. Catholic faith, um, yeah, a big definitely. part of it is you better go to somebody somewhere, even myself. When I go into the confessional, I am as graphic as could be in some cases, not always. But if I had something which I've had in the past of a thought, mm -hmm. I would go right in and say, you know what? Here's what I thought, pure and simple. Here it is. I don't ice it over because I, I want it to be healed. And, and anyone who's having a thought of, um, molesting anyone or it, it starts with a thought and mm -hmm. it has to be exposed to the light of consciousness and it'll shrink it'll help shrink it when you share it with other people or at least another person that's why even in AA admit it to God to myself and another human being the exact nature of my wrongs I mean mm -hmm. that's step of AA or I'm um, pretty sure it's the fourth step, but um, I, I have a lot of friends in AA and I love the, I love the, the uh, Bill W, one of the greatest writers of all time, mm -hmm. uh, but confessing Bill W founded AA. But if you, if you, um if you have a thought of, of the seven deadly sins, you know, I was at the art festival and a lot of my art has to do with, you know, the afterlife. And I would say to people, look, the seven deadly sins. They don't call them the seven deadlies for nothing. Yeah. Anybody uh, for your own protection and the protection of others. If you have any of these seven deadlies mm -hmm. brewing psyche, mm -hmm. tell somebody. And that's where Josh could have made it. When those thoughts were reoccurring, apparently, uh, where was that humility and honesty then? You know, what happened? I, I, yeah. Yeah, and I and I think that's what separates people with a conscience with to to people with no conscience. I don't think he has a conscience. Yeah, your 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 conscience can be hardened, and pretty soon, and you're uh, pretty. You can you can, we can fool ourselves. <laughs> pretty it, soon, we think right is wrong and wrong is right, and that's why people you know have a beautiful wife and family and you run off with the neighbor. I mean, because yeah. they're they've gone down the deep slope and they're losing touch with it's really a type of insanity quite quite honestly sin in general the more we sin the more insane we become it's it really we are becoming less sane um and that's also in the steps of aa asking god to restore us to to sanity um yeah I, I think what happened to him is probably i mean either he's a victim of it himself because this is the difference between Josh, it, and it all goes back to what he was looking at and what he was enjoying, and um, it's so beyond. Um, it, it, it's it just shows you what type of person he is. The way I see it now, now either a he was a victim or b he saw pornography at an early age. He seemed to be very good with computers. I'm sure he got exposed to a lot of pornography and he got into it, and then it just went younger and younger and younger. Um, 
uh, th- th- this is what I've noticed, and I know you, we've off off air. We've talked a little bit about some videos I did about a lot of these pedo catchers on YouTube. And one thing I noticed, I do have empathy for the ones that are caught because a, a lot of times I feel like they are victims of it. Um, there are some who are the, what what I described as they they started with pornography and then it went into crazy pornography and then it went into young. Um, they're two different things, uh, but they're the same, but all of them leading up to the point where they're caught, they have no conscience. They have no guilt. And to me, that's who they really are more so than when they're forced to come clean. Does that make sense? Well, that's what happens when we hide things. Um, you know, we go deeper and deeper and deeper into illusion and deception and, um, we can, as you said, we, we can fool ourselves and um, we can be fantasizing um, and uh, fantasize. I mean, it's, it's all about, you know, fantasizing can turn into and will turn into uh, manifesting itself in reality. If um, if we don't, um, I mean, I am amazed at how humble some of the people that I talk to are in sharing not crimes, but, you know, just things that they've gone through that I'm out in the street talking to people as I go uh, Mm -hmm. throughout the day. And I'm amazed how many people will tell me the struggles that they go through. Um, But, you know, Jesus said to many people, you know, your, your faith has saved you. Uh, We we just have to have faith that the truth will set us free. Mm -hmm. And why we should tell the truth about abuse that we're in. Uh, But hopefully, you know, Anna and other people, uh, what can happen is she can somebody that she trusts can, uh, can earn someone can earn her trust and and they can slowly help her get out. And uh, the problem is the religion uh, people will begin to believe that if they leave the situation, they're actually leaving God. That's how yes. deeply embedded. That's how deeply embedded it can become, and people can be- come to believe that they're actually sinning by getting out um it's it's very frightening and um, it, it is like they say the stockholm syndrome uh if you've ever studied it it's it's there's a history it, it, being- yeah yeah it, it's a shame that for some people religion is stockholm you know um and that's unfortunate and that's what i like you about have to use it to survive i mean that's really you, sh- you should not be using your religion just to survive a bad situation that you can freely get out of You know, if you can get out, you should. You know, it's just pure and simple.